Y'all got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Blueface brother Dre said Krishan played Blueface, also set him up back in the day. So his brother's dropping tea, girl. Let's get him. Hey guys doing? So Blueface brother Dre was on Instagram Live, and he asked people to not ask him questions about his brother, but he basically talked about his brother. He <laughs> also said he would not get back with Krishan's friend Marsh. Exes are exes for a reason. I used to date Marsh. And I got to agree with him on that. Said his relationship with Krishan was personal. He gave his views on Jaden, Krishan, his mama. He talked about everybody, even his baby mama. He went into detail about his beef with Krishan and how her fans were sending him and his mama threats. Went on to say that Krishan played Blueface. And gave us details about that. One of the things that I found interesting about this live stream was he is saying he helped with the development of his mom's show. So what happened to the whole his mom stole his show idea? He might be all the other shit that y'all say, insensitive, jackass, all the other shit y'all say, probably those things. But as well, he is a very good father. You know? Oh man. But yeah, I just, I just had me feel this type of way, man. Seeing the homeless dude out there, I was like, damn, how long would you be homeless for? You'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Bust a scam, do something. Like, what? How you just out here just be being homeless? Like, oh. I just don't get it. Who oh, homeless? Shit, at minimum, why you not robbing people? Shit, <laughs> nigga. Nah, we're. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the way to go, but damn. Mm -mm, and the Bible said you could rob Peter to pay Paul shit. Can well, I he did mean that. Her, Mom? I don't know anything about Jada. I don't even... I'm going to be honest with you. I really... I've seen her probably six times in my whole life. I used to call her when I used to be in jail. Like, you know, she's been part of family for, for like 10 years. Probably longer than that. And, you know, when she was in high school, she had come to my, my house, my mom, my brother. You know, they've been dating since they were in high school. And I just say hi on the phone or whatever, but like far as personal relationship, I know nothing about Jaden, bro. Like when I see her, she'd be mad at my brother for him doing whatever he doing and trying to take that out on me. So I just kind of stayed away from her. Like, bro, I'm not gonna let you be mad at me because this nigga's cheating. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like that don't make no sense. You're not gonna yell at me for a pussy I ain't even hit. <laughs> That's dumb as fuck. I don't know why would you, bro? I'm not, I can't control that nigga cheating, you know? So I just, I, I fuck with Jaden cause that's family, <laughs> but I don't know anything about Jaden, bro. You know, I know she got mad at my mom and said we're all weird. I don't know if I was included in that. Something do say Rob Peter to pay Paul. Honestly, that's how they all robbing all of us. But we ain't gonna talk about it. Y'all ain't right. Okay. When she said like you're all, you guys are all weird. I don't want shit to do with none of y'all. I felt like I was included, so I just kind of don't really. <clears throat> you know, if she don't fuck with me, that's fine. Uh, what else, bro? Y'all gotta stop. Asking me all the blue questions, bro. You gotta ask my mom about that shit. Cause then it'd be like, oh, why are you always bringing him up? But like every comment be like, oh, seven in a row. Are you still cool with Blueface? Or have you seen the baby? You'd be like, you know? Oh, uh, they know he haven't seen the baby. I never said that. I mean, everybody could probably be more present in their kid's life. I mean, sure, you wanna see your kid every day of every hour. But no, my, my brother see his kid almost probably, almost probably every day. And he's probably been seeing him almost every day of his life, his whole life. <sighs> Me and Marsh probably will not get back together, bro. Like, I don't fuck with none of my exes again. Like, if we broke up, it was for a reason. I don't give a fuck if we was like a fling. Like, if we talk, we not gonna talk again. Appreciate y'all coming from YouTube. But I fuck with Marsh. I, I support her single mom journey. I support her single black woman journey. I support her aspiring to be, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Marsh because, like, she just a nigga. Like, she don't have no... Rapper, people backing her, like, she'd be out here by herself trying to figure it out, you know what I'm saying, with her son. And I just really fuck with that, like, her being a strong single, because she don't really have too much help, you know what I'm saying? That's why I tried to, like, fuck with her when I could. But I don't know, I, I'm attracted to that type of shit, like, oh, damn, like, she's strong, she's different. Like, all that extra shit. Ain't nothing like a strong shit. black I woman. Her she was cool, you know, strong black woman. You know, she raising her son by herself, and she doing a damn good job. Her own. No, you're actually watching the video, dumbass spot on the car <laughs> she was doing a little shit <clears throat> sorry to the people on my video i was talking to somebody in the comments 
I support Kashawn <laughs> single mom. She just barely became a mom. God damn. <laughs> damn, a nigga been a mom for like 48 hours. My beef with her, with Krishan, bro, is just that she do different shit in Appreciate the social the media sub, world, Mika. but do different shit in real life. You know what I'm saying? And then try to play it different on social media. And that's just what's my biggest thing. Like, keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you gonna do wrong to a person, just keep that shit real. Don't try to turn the whole world against a person and you was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. you telling the story. Like, that's like some kid shit. Like, when your little brother do some shit and then go lie on you and sit in front of mommy and they be like, come on, bro. Like, that was my only issue. And it was to the point, my mama Chris behind Krishan fans. And that's a lot of Krishan fans. What bro. you mean who deactivated that's IG? Niggas kept fighting back, if anything. I like, keep telling y'all, do not time out these people. If you're going to get rid of them, get them up out of here. Let's just act like timeout don't exist. I think it's not her. It don't have to always be her. Sometimes it be her wacky ass friends. Like, yeah, about my family. And I'd be like, bro, I didn't even say shit. What the fuck I do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shakia. So, it really be the fans just getting me out of character, bro. Because when you get your 18th million threat, it'd be like, nigga, what the fuck? Do something in. Like, it'd just be like, you just kind of lose it. Especially on that one bad day when you're going through some real life shit. 18 and this minutes. Bitch, I mean, not this bitch. I, I call women bitches. That's how I was talking. Like, I talk like that. But I need to stop. But this woman, uh, she had 300,000 motherfuckers on her live. So you can imagine how many fans, Blue you know what I'm saying, niggas get hit with. Like me and my mom and whoever got a problem with her. Like, she That's got a crazy. big fan base. That'd be the biggest thing. So, but I really honestly probably don't have a problem with Krishan. It'd be like her fans. Like I said, just the consistent barrage of bullshit. Niggas wake up, fuck you, bitch ass nigga, blah, 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 Krishan's the greatest. And they be like, bro, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Krishan's the greatest. I don't really be around bro, because my brother's crazy, bro. Like, I love him to death. <laughs> he's just kind of, he's younger than me. So he be like, want to do young shit. And I don't be want to take young chances. Like, we could do some bullshit, but it can't be no senseless, dumb bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really with all that. Like, but he young. He could do senseless, dumb bullshit. You know, when you young, you just be like, all right, fuck it, I'm you know, he growing and maturing now. You know what I'm saying? But it, it just be too much for me sometimes. He, he pulling his <clears> hair <throat> like that shit is a, a wig or something. Uh, what else? Jaden gone. Make sure y'all fuck with the show. Make sure y'all keep Fred, it's you a might be blocked. Show. It's not just for us, <laughs> it's for the whole family. You know what I'm saying? It's a place for, for Cali. Let me for, go see. Um, y'all call her the makeup artist, but everybody who's on board, bro, is is creating opportunities for not just my mom, for you know even the, the camera team. Uh, that's work for them. They go inside their pockets. So it's, the show is a good show. His so IG show is still is, there. It's based around a family environment, and it's it's uh, about people trying to be better people. He is not in Baltimore. He's at home. Blueface is at home. With Javon teaching him how to do a backflip. Friend, you blocked as hell. I feel like who wouldn't want to fuck with that? You know what I'm saying? He's at home. <clears throat> Unless this old. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, this, this show has been a show for my mama for like four years, bro. She took that original six out picture in my brother's living room like three years ago. So it's like, she used to sit up all night, like for hours talking to me about this dream she had. So I'm not gonna be a hater, you know what I'm saying? Cause we had an issue. Even if I don't do nothing else with the show, like I want her to be prosperous. I want her to win. That's that person I am. I want Krishan to be prosperous and win. Like I don't have nothing against her, you know? Yeah, what the hell you do to get blocked from Blueface? He don't be giving a damn about nothing. Uh, I went to jail for originally murder, but I got to drop down to manslaughter. Damn. And I ended you know, up doing like, out of 17 years, I did like 14 and some change. Mm -hmm. My book is coming out. Damn, his brother is like about that life. <laughs> that nigga went to jail for murder. That's crazy. Who knew? <laughs> In December. Oh, shit. Yeah. I was thinking about changing the name to Surviving Carlissa. A lot of people were saying put it as Surviving Carlissa. <laughs> so my mama playing me now. How she playing me? I mean, shit, she probably is, bro. Shit, who the fuck knows?
Are you allowed to play your kids though? Since you had them, <laughs> I think that might be her. He shit. still be with his mama, y'all. Okay, that nigga really own schoolyard. <laughs> Real shit. Y'all gotta understand that the shit, and I'm only gonna speak on this just to try to really kind of speak on something that needs to be spoke on. It's a reality, and then it's Instagram. Not everything y'all hear on Instagram is reality. You know what I'm saying? So, because a person, <laughs> Krishan is definitely the aggressor in reality, bro. Like my brother she don't is. like only a woman will sit down and, and base their whole day on trying to configure a whole plan about trying to navigate a relationship. My brother be thinking about money. Like since he been a child, that's all he been interested in is money. Like he used to put money in his diaper. I'm not playing. Like he is money, money, money. Like we went my mom took us out there. We didn't have no money or whatever. We niggas was doing bad or whatever. So she, you know, get the little water hustle, you know, you go out there and sell water at the beach and shit. My brother took to that shit. He out there, nigga, we trying to leave. We trying to go get in the water. This nigga out there with the bottles of water, nigga, grinning. Like, nigga trying to sell everybody water. Like, yeah, $2, water, nigga, da 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 We, not, we <laughs> shot, man. He out there. Water, let's do it. Get in. Blueface is absolutely a hustler. That's what I admire about him. Hey, Definitely he always been about money. So, like, if anything go on with them and their relationship, bro, that's defensive. But I really don't be thinking about relationships and women. And he better trying to get some money. That's it. It be Krishan trying to put shit in the media. And do certain shit, trying to force his hand, and the shit worked. The reason I say that she's a genius, because Krishan played a game that I, I've watched thousands of women trying to play. Like every woman he meet, oh, I'm trying to be an artist. I'm trying to be your girl, and it's like she did all those things, like strategically though. No, like she played. I see. The only thing I disagree about with that is she didn't force him to have sex with her. That's what she didn't do, and that's what you can't say she did. What Blueface did say was she was coming off really hard, but. Not hard enough to take your meat out of your pants. I just, I don't agree with that. So, you know, men don't really talk about the role that they played in it. And like, bro, you wanted some of that crazy coochie. Let's just talk about it. Not him, but, you know, Blueface, he wanted some of that crazy, that crazy coochie. He did. Made and navigated her way into his life and went all the way up. That's one thing I give her credit for. Like, she, she had a plan. Like, from the very first day we met her, That's she had terrible. a motherfucking plan. And I fuck with her because she executed. Like, before y'all knew, before Kashan had this many people in her live, before, like, you know, she was down, oh, like, you know, not down oh, bad, but like. That live we was watching last night, Krishan did say, I'm going to take your baby daddy. And girl, she did. <laughs> like, I think if, if she didn't have no intentions before Jaden, after Jaden, Jaden really, really, really pushed that. Okay? Jaden pushed Blue face right into Krishan arms. Do you hear me? Real shit, because <laughs> Krishan did say, I'm absolutely going to, yeah, nigga. She was barely <laughs> coming up. Like, she still was the same person. She had the same tenacity. She had the same confidence. And I think that's what my brother saw. That's what all of us saw. You know what I'm saying? So, I think there was some type of destiny to her life. If it wasn't destiny, it Appreciate was Appreciate it, K-Love. Uh, like, she believed in herself. She she made all of that shit happen by herself, like sitting in the living room, smoking a blunt on Instagram, thinking about how can I be the best at whatever I'm trying to do. And that's what she slowly did when she was there by herself, when nobody would fuck with her, when I tried to get her brand deals and nobody would return my calls, all types of shit. And she kept at that shit. It took her almost a year when niggas was laughing at her, when when all of that shit was happening over the course of a year, she kept through that shit. So that- that and Krishan got into a lot of fights. Like, we went down the rabbit hole of Krishan last night. And hell, I'm inspired. She done whooped some ass. She done got her ass whooped. Um, she done got jumped. Done. She's done a lot. Okay? A lot. So, I think she deserves everything she got. That was one of the biggest reasons why she has so much more respect. You know, we had a personal relationship aside from that. But, like, the shit that happened with my mom, I feel like it was disrespectful to me. I should hurt my feelings. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you should have enough respect for me. Like, nigga, I've been trying to help you with your music for damn near a year now. You know, and even out of the love One you money have on for TV? me, like, nigga, I, I fuck with you. Facts. Like, I don't damn near, like, you know, I'll probably slide some shit for you, all types of shit. She did a lot. And then, you know, that was what fucked me up. Like, to just beat up a nigga mama is bad. I know my mama crazy. She hard to deal with. But it's it's a real disrespectful act to beat up a nigga mama. Like, nah, hell nah. Your mama asked for that. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, that's crazy. Ain't nobody like, about to just beat up nobody mama that mama ain't trying to fight you. Uh, somebody sent me a video of um, 
Blueface mama throwing food or a drink or something at Jaden. And Jaden didn't do nothing. Child, Krishan whooped Carlissa booty for Jaden. Honestly. Regardless if she wrong, that's fucked up. That's just why. Nah, you know? fuck that. His mom is out of control. Jenna took my mom out. She crazy as fuck. I get it. I get it. She gonna make you mad. But if it was her dad, unless her dad put their hands on me, like physical hand, not do nothing at me, not no weird, like physical hands, then I would never disrespect Krishan and put my hands on her dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't that deep, bro. I walk away, especially if I know your daddy crazy, like how everybody know my mama crazy. Like, bro, your mama trip now, leave. But I said that already. That's just my stance on it. Y'all keep asking me. I'm always gonna feel like that. Bro, my mom is to blame. My mom is wrong. I'm not agree I'm not disagreeing with you, bro. Like I'm saying she wrong. Like I'm saying she wrong, good. Really? Like she, but still you don't gotta beat her up, bro. You really don't gotta like you don't have Do to. Do y'all have a phone holder in y'all car? I never, I would never understand why people want to hold their phone and hold the camera. I would never understand that to this day. <laughs> I'm fucking holding this phone. <laughs> Move. Do all that. That's all I was doing. And not no, not no real ass whooping, bro. Like, it could have been like a just push you down. Like, you don't have to do my own. Like, she, like she was one of the bitches in the BGC house. Like, God damn, bro. Kicked her in the head, some more shit. Like, y'all think that was like a playful ass whooping? Nah, bro. Krishan, like, look, you beat the shit <laughs> like, and I see her whoop many ass, so I know what she did. Like, I know how it went. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was mad. Like, damn, bro, you gonna do my own? How you be doing bitches in the streets? Like, that's fucked up. She no, ain't nothing wrong with holding your phone. phone. It's that your you do what you want to do. I'm just saying. I think technology today helps us out by not doing it. So, I was just saying, y'all. I think it's easier to just get have you a phone thing. You just sit your phone on. Talk your shit. That's all I'm talking about. Y'all don't take me too serious. I'm just going to give y'all commentary because bruh boring as hell right now. So I got to talk about something. Or like... It's illegal to do that in Georgia too. Shit. Like if you going to have your phone, you got to have it on a phone holder in Georgia. If you holding your phone, at least while driving, your ass gonna you can get a ticket. Says seen it maybe with Rock. Yeah, me and Rock was tight, bro. That was my dog was fun time. Even when my brother was like her, her carry him to be into it. I always try to be neutral. You ready? Yeah. My mom did throw the bottle, bro, but you could have still walked away. My mom is crazy. Like everybody knows my mom is crazy, bro. Be hot. Like, it's like, you know, it's different. Like, if a nigga surprise you and start throwing bottles, you might get turned up. But if it's the nigga that everybody kind of knows. Sorry, I need to talk about something else. When everybody be in the car talking they shit, they don't have the air on. And they like to keep the door open. And I think it's because they don't want y'all or us to hear the AC. I am not about to die for y'all. <laughs> I'm cutting on that air conditioning in that car. He got on a long sleeve shirt. All the windows up. In California, <laughs> with no air on, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, like oh, he you kind of be the nigga picking on somebody. Like everybody already know he be tripping. Like I just felt like you kind of doing too much. Like, you picking on like he <laughs> throw bottles you, at Lee, all of us, but none of us beat him up. Leah, like, I have my same friend. You know, you was that one person that decided to beat him up because you could. You know, like I just felt like it was a bully move. Like throwing bottles. Who? What the fuck? Who cares? You could have walked away. Obviously, she not close enough to grab you. You know, she threw some shit. All right, bro, I'm out of here. She's throwing shit. You know? I feel them. No, no, nobody want their mama to get their ass. Yeah, I am sweating. Niggas hot as fuck when it's part of that. Right. Going, Cut the air on. That shit crazy. But yeah. I would at least took the shirt off. I don't know. If y'all see some homeless people, bro, make sure y'all give them some money. What? You know? Support the homeless people. And pray for me, bro. All of this shit. Appreciate the sub, C Love or Clove. <laughs> Said she did her own sister worse, bro. I'm not gonna speak on all that shit, but in her defense, bro, her sister was trying to bully her, bro. Like her sister was trying to like do too much. She was like, I'm your big sister, so that nigga said I ain't gonna speak on that, but what I am gonna say, huh? You gonna give me your bag and he'd be like, Bro, that little brother, big sister shit got the nigga window. Got on we a all flannel. Grown, That's what I'm saying. Give you nothing. I can help you get on. 
Like, I'm not gonna let you bully me out of my bag, bro. Like, before I do that, like, family or not, I, I fuck with Boy, you. Wait, wait, Gas, six or seven dollars in Cali, Nick. We ain't got time to be wasting no gas. Y'all gas is high. But if that's the case, friend, get your ass out the car. <laughs> get out. Okay? Or take off the flannel. <laughs> Just don't die. <laughs> I, I take rock side on that one. I don't know everything what happened, but from the, the situations, like I used to hear the speaker phone, like how she would deal with, like she used to try to bully yeah, rock. Yeah, seven dollars like is out of she control. Bully rock, but she used to definitely try to, like you know, some like aggressive, like you gonna do this or you gonna do that, and like rock just was sent up for like no, bro. I'm or <laughs> let down the window. I mean, come on. <laughs> Shit, if my brother, if my older brother was trying to bully me, bro, and I like we talked. Like, bro, I'm, I explained to him, I'm not gonna let you bully me. He still had to bully me. Yes, I'll have him jump too, bro. Like, if you if you ain't got no love or no respect for me, my nigga, to chill out on me, then obviously the brother don't mean shit to you and your eyes. So why would it mean something to me in my eyes, bro? So yeah, if I was in that position and my sister tried to bully me out of something I worked hard for, I would have my friends beat them up if I was pregnant too, bro. You know, you need to chill out. Right. You're doing too much. Why are you pressing me? I'm pregnant anyway. I feel but I don't know that. what happened. I don't even. That's just what I'm guessing happened. From what I've seen about how they dealt with each other in the past. <sighs> Well, I did. So that's something she did do, and that was something I want people to pay attention to. She did try to set it up. She did. She tried to set up my brother. We, we found a text message. I've seen the text messages myself. Like I, she admitted to doing the shit, bro. Oh but damn. Like, in her defense, she had just met us. You know, my brother forgave her, so we all just forgave her. But yeah, that's how. She, that's what I'm saying, though. Shit like that. Imagine this: the female that you met, she tried to set you up. Like you gonna look at her some type of way too, sometimes. Like you know. Like, for real. Appreciate y'all. I mean, that's I, just I coming from YouTube. I gave us or if that was in the past. But my I appreciate y'all. So, I mean, shit, you know, I let it go. But it definitely was a red flag for sure. He said set him up like trying to set him up. To, you know what I'm saying? Set him up, set him up. You know? I don't even know how they got her phone, too. That's why I'm like, how the fuck did y'all? How do you get caught trying to set somebody up? <laughs> right. Like, and they put your phone. Like, I was like, you just a goofy. <sighs> I ain't surprised she did that either. She felt like Blue set her up with uh, Jaden coming yeah, in the yeah, house. And I, I hope that her and her sister get back cool. So if it was saying? around that time. Stick together. I think everybody just kind of clamoring for position, like crabs in the bucket. And it's like, you know, everybody trying to fight for position. But if niggas came together and worked as a team, niggas wouldn't have to do all that. <laughs> I'll play Jaden's song. Yeah, make sure y'all download that. That's, what is it called? Stewie? I fuck with it. It's catchy. Uh, to be honest, I think Jaden's song has more work put in it than Krishan's song. Krishan's song of course. been out for a minute. Krishan just got the rest of it. <laughs> Jaden can't even perform. Hey, shit. bro, it's, it's the comments, bro. What you want me to do is not answer the comments, bro. It's like 50 people in here asking me the same question. I got a big head. Me. Big head. Which one, I'm going to just ignore them. Fuck it. I'm going to read every comment from everybody else aside from the ones about Rock and Blue. What, what we got? Probably nothing. <clears throat> Nah, the beef of my mom was not fake, bro. I'm just, what I'm gonna do, beat her up? <laughs> the fuck? What do you want me to do? I'm gonna slide? Like, it's my mom. Like, what the fuck? Like, she knows she wrong. But I mean, what the fuck? What, um, what can I do? As far as me being on the show, shit. I'm trying to get paid. What the fuck? Why would I not get paid to be on the show? I worked hard to help develop the show. <laughs> shit, my brother probably wrote Kashan's song. So why you bullshitting? Hold on. <clears throat> Can you catch us up? Just got here from YouTube. So Krishan was trying to set Blue up. Oh, friend, this I can't even catch you up with that because this is what his brother is saying. So you might have to just watch the video. But I mean, he basically said Krish, it was something like Krishan tried to set my brother up. He's seen it. That was really it. He ain't even going to detail at all. I want to do a show. I want to do another performance. You know how I like get a little spot, get a little mansion or something, have a little party. My birthday coming up. <laughs> she said, I love, I'm sorry, I love your mom. That's probably her from a fake page. Who's, what's this page? I love your mom. Well, if, since you love her, tell her to go get counseling, bro. Go pay for her counseling sessions. Or go, nigga, drag her to the counseling sessions because <laughs> she loves her, motherfucker. I don't really talk to my brother like that, bro. I might, I probably have like, Eight text messages from that nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? From out here, he don't talk to nobody. Like, 
Plus, he'd probably get a thousand text messages. I'm not finna keep texting you, bro. Like, I love you to death, one nigga, but I ain't finna kiss your ass and keep calling you for shit. You nah, know he man? just don't fuck with y'all. But here. Blueface did not fuck with him. Brother. Like, I, I had a dream. I ain't gonna talk about that dream. But I try to stay away from him. Like, if, if I'm not around him, then we can't get in trouble together. So I'd be like, that's why I just really, for the most part, don't like being around. Because if something happened and I'm there, I feel guilty. Like, that's my little brother. So it'd be like, ah, oh, shit. You know, then my mama get yelling at me. Like, you was supposed to. And but bro, I can't control this nigga. This nigga, the fuck? <laughs> this nigga's a grown-ass man. I would love to meet my nephew, bro. His she brother don't fuck with him. I understand what the problem with letting us meet him. Shit. We probably gonna love him more than the other side of his family. Well, that was shady. Thank y'all for keeping me company. <laughs> yeah, my brother used to come on here from time to time. The nigga can't really cut though. I'm a mom, I'm like, bro, you one of them barbers. Nigga, come back to you because you're a swagger. Like, nigga's probably just come over and sit, bro, because your, your fade is not really faded, bro. I don't know if he did that to like rush me. Like, nigga, I'm blue faced and I'm over here cutting your hair and shit. But the fade was not for him to be having like barber utensils tatted on his head and shit. I was like, bro, like this. Like, my nigga so my back in, bro. <sighs> Bruh, absolutely rambling at this point. Are we done with this video? Are we done with this video, y'all? We can 86 this. All right, because I've been done with it. All right, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I will say uh, his brother is a handsome young man. He's a very handsome guy. He just... Uh, I don't know. I can't even say he tender because he really on schoolyard. That nigga went to, to prison for Erda. Erda! Okay, so he bought that life. You know what I'm saying? He ain't soft. Maybe he had a change of heart in prison or I don't know. But it's just crazy how you a nigga be like, yeah, man, I don't, you know, I miss my brother, love that nigga to death, but um, Nah, he don't really talk to people. He don't really fuck with me like that. You know what I'm saying? I really don't fuck with him either. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he don't really be knowing what he going. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.